Got another kind of short one for you. It's why it's not out till Tuesday. Not tons to share, at least as far as Outlander goes. I do have something to share about Blood in My Blood and a few things about the actors themselves. So let's go see what we've got here. And I'm going to start us off with um, Happy Birthday. So my first is Batgirl 95 UA. You know, one of my favorite posters says Happy Birthday to Dominique P Pinon. 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 I know I can't get birthdays for nothing. But a happy birthday to Dominique. Hope you enjoy your celebration. Kula Breath Son Dieut. And yeah, I know. Don't try to correct me. It's terrible. Um, a lot of hashtags for this for Outlander birthdays. Dominique, Outlander. Uh, Master Raymond, of course, that is who he plays in case, you know, you didn't recognize him. <laughs> this crowd, I expect to have recognized him, though. And that is all the birthdays we have for our Outlander people. However, like I said, I do have stuff to share. And this one is going to be shared by Outlander Online. It is a hashtag of Graham McTavish, Tutoro, Studio Ghibli, and Outlander. And I can't show it all in one shot, which is why I'm reading it to you now so you can see this. And I know you folks out there, you you are going to be able to tell me exactly who this is and why we should be really excited to see what can only be described as a child's nightmare <laughs> come to reality. I'm guessing it's a, a kid's character in a cartoon but it says Graham meets Totoro and he's starstruck and that is no offense one heck of an unattractive character <laughs> and I don't I don't mean Graham obviously that is an interesting gray blob now uh, I'm guessing that it has to do with the fact that he is um visiting visiting somewhere where was he visiting I'll be able to pick that <laughs> oh boy and that must be a character that is culturally relevant. And the U.S., we make up. And so, I mean, come on. So do you guys over in the U.K. I mean, well, tell me what happened. Why Why Teletubbies? Why? Anyway, um, we all have these crazy characters that we make up for our kids. I don't know who this is, but I'm going to guess that it is a cartoon character. But I want to give you a chance to see the original post because I thought it would say... Okay, so it's Sci-Fi World SE. Okay, so yeah, this is the original post. Outlander Online shared it. And I have no idea. Oh, in Stockholm. See, I didn't read the whole thing. That's on me. So he's in Stockholm. And I'm still going to go with culturally relevant children's character. And then I'm going to move on. Because honestly, I will probably just say something that will get me in trouble. That is a creepy looking little dude. So let's move on to Meryl, a much more familiar face. So here is this post, new photo, Meryl Davis in Scotland with David Stewart. This one is shared by Outlander Online. And yeah, we have, um, it says, hey, Sam Hewn, you better hurry back. There's a f new fun sheriff in Davy Hollywood's car. And nothing else really to say there. It's just a little teaser for us to let us know that they're, um, you know, they're in Scotland. They're, they're going to be doing some things, although blood of my blood is underway so i would have thought she was already in scotland anywho this isn't much of a threat but it is fun to see meryl back you know in a all ready to work again we know there's going to be some fun stuff made soon but the good news is until then outlander online is doubling down here is a clip and some pictures of caesar Domboy at paris fashion week and i will scroll down to give you um some better images and yeah there is an actual clip but first here are some more of those images we got Caesar in a, a really nice little jacket. It's basic, but kind of looks like something I would have worn when I was a kid. And we're talking about the 80s here. But yeah, it's it's classic cut. Nice. And then we've got him walking with a fella in a jacket I would probably wear. Uh, the leather jacket is more my style. And then on the far end here, we've got three different gentlemen, all looking dapper. And on the far right, of course, is Caesar. And then here we have our clip of Caesar. <laughs> Did you get handed champagne? I need that button. Now we need to write to the Fashion Week people and find out how how we get a button. I, I suppose we could specialize it so it wouldn't just have to deliver champagne. So people who must, you know, have their Pepsi or root beer or uh, a whiskey, <laughs> whatever you'd like right there on demand. Push a button. They should talk to the Star Trek people. They have that down. And now I have a fun video. All right, do you remember the earlier picture where I thought, I was like, I think maybe John is taking a picture with a fan and not his grandma. I could be wrong because he's having a swim with someone who it seems fairly reasonable that she might be his grandma. All right. So, yeah, we've got him in, in a swimming pool. And at first I thought all those chairs above were like 
solar panels and I was all proud. But um, now he's having a swim. And I swear, look, it looks like he's visiting with his grandma. I don't know when these folks are with their um, their their family in any way and bringing them to stuff. It just makes them all that much more endearing. Who doesn't want a child who not only sees success, but then is like, you know what? We're going to take the family on a trip. <laughs> I think that's good stuff. Also, I've been watching This Is Us and Kevin is building his family a cabin right now. So, you know, doing for your family when you see success seems like a good thing. Taking grandma to a really nice hotel to go swimming also sounds like a good plan. Now, before I get to some behind the scenes images, I do want to give you guys a quick reminder Um, because I've seen it a lot in the comments lately. Please, 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 please watch out for the scammers, the Graham scammers, the Sam scammers, the Katrina scammers, the John Bell scammers, the David Barry scammers. I don't care if it's a Graham McTavish scammer or a Duncan LaCroix scammer. If you cannot verify that the person talking to you is a star, they're not. And let me tell you, this is how you know if who you're talking to is a star. They're talking to you. <laughs> These guys are busy. They, it's not that you aren't a lovely person there, that I'm not a lovely person. They aren't talking to us. We're just regular old people. <laughs> and so please, 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 please watch out for anybody who says, hey, I'm Sam. I just want to say thanks for being such a great fan. If you really, really want to say thanks and goodbye, <laughs> because yeah, these are not Sam. Um, Sam is not remotely interested in me romantically or you romantically. He's a very busy guy. <laughs> Sam in no way is going to come and ask me for money. He's not going to come and ask you for money. He's a fairly wealthy guy. And Sam is not going to personally come and ask us what we think of Outlander. He's not going to ask me what I think of Outlander online. And he's not going to message you and ask you what you think of Outlander online. You know why? Because he has agents and he's not supposed to be doing those things. So please, I really, really feel for anybody who gets taken by any of these scammers. I've tried to um, give you little reminders to be vigilant in the past. It seems it's not helping a lot of people. So while I do believe you you know to be careful. Pass the word to other fans, not even just Outlander, just anybody. If a star comes up and messages you in Twitter, slides into your DMs on Instagram, dude, it's it's not, and I pardon my dude, but it's not them. I personally have found that the most successful way to talk with your stars is to go to a convention. And I know this is not something that is easy for everybody, but if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I do have a little information to share on that front. But first, as promised, some behind the scenes images, this time, blood of my blood. And so here we go. Uh, this one shared by Outlander Chronicles. I'm gonna read what they have to say here. Filming is underway for blood of my blood. Posted with three Graham and the Herald Scotland Outlander, blood of my blood stars Jeremy Irvine and Hermione Corfield filming in Glasgow's Park Circus this morning. They play Claire's parents, Henry Beecham and Hermione Corfield in the prequel series. Now, I'm, I'm going to assume that Henry's pronunciation would have been Beecham just because that's how Claire started out. Though I think in the last video, I did say Beauchamp, so <laughs> just ignore me. Uh, the first picture, though, it looks like, um, well, yeah, we would be at about uh, the early 1900s, 19-teens-ish, possibly. Uh, let's see here. We are, oh, and he's in a military uniform. So, um, at the very least, he is an enlisted man. Uh, again, the costuming, really, really well done. Perfectly stepped out of time. And yeah, I'm going to say, considering they started with war for Outlander, that we're probably entering, uh, the Great War, the war to end all wars, at least in this time period for Claire's parents. And uh, here we've got some good background props, Oki's knife polish, okay. So setting it up on the street so things look proper for the times. Okay, so we've got we've got our Bobby there. And it looks like just general extras possibly until the show starts. We really don't know uh, more than the parents. So uh, let's see what else we have. Okay, Bovera Lion's Tea. I'm assuming those would be familiar. Um, if not older, but familiar brand names that you would expect to see in England during the time. And yes, before anybody calls out on me, I just realized, because again, I read these on the fly with you guys for the first time. I just realized 
that they named um, Hermione twice and called her Claire's mother's name. <laughs> that's not right. I believe that's supposed to be Julia, but the last name is escaping me at the moment. Uh, and I'm not going to look it up at this very second. Go ahead and fill it and let me know below. I know y'all love to let me know when I have forgotten something, which I appreciate because it helps not only correct me, but uh, anybody else who's reading the comments, watching the videos. So we've got, um, yeah. All right. So Julia so far there and another view of uh, the props sitting on the road and people mostly in uh, costume. You can tell who's the extras and who's the, you know, people helping out. Ooh, I wonder if any of our people are helping out. Remember, they put that call out to anybody who's in the Glasgow area who want to do that. And so here we have Henry one more time up there. And it looks like Julia walking away to, on the far right. And again, great behind the scenes images because we can see the camera people. We're in a wider view here. All right. So, yeah, and you can see down here, look, all the onlookers who are watching this be filmed. Lucky dogs. And now in this one, it looks almost like, is this Henry down here? And then Claire, or not Claire, but uh, Julia up here. Again, we have no idea what's happening in these scenes. It's just letting us know that they're being created right now. So that is uh, what we have to start our week off. I, I know it wasn't tons of stuff. It's just been kind of that way. Um, I expect things to sort of come and go as... Filming is beginning on both shows this month. Uh, things are going to be busy on both ends for them. So, so I, I may end up cutting these videos down to once a week just for lack of content. But we'll see what happens. And uh, there were a couple of things I did want to chat about before I go. For my members, uh, there is going to be a meetup on Thursday this week, not at any afternoon. I'm going to try to do it at, n <laughs> let me try anything here. Yes, I'm going to do it at, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, this is my first one that is later. For those of you who just are not able to get away at noon, I know it's troublesome. And Thursday is a little bit easier for me to do an evening chat. So uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You'll have to do your own conversion. Uh, and in the next day, probably today, uh, look for a Zoom link that will take you to the meet in a post on the community page for this channel. And now about a future convention. No, I'm done talking about the Star Trek convention. Yes, I'm still going, but uh, this one I've been working on is going to be for, well, you guys. Uh, Outlander convention I have decided upon will be this year. I've already written to them to see if there's any way I can get a little bit of access to ask a question or two of the actors. I don't expect that I will be able to, but doesn't hurt to ask. And when I come back from the convention here in about two and a half weeks for uh, Star Trek, I will announce which convention I am going to. Now, members and Patreons, I will probably be letting you know where that convention will be sometime this week or next week whenever we have a chat. Um, for everybody else, I will be announcing which convention I'll be headed to in no less than three weeks. So keep tuned uh, if you are planning to go to a convention and want to hold off to find out where I'll be going because I would be ecstatic to meet any of you and hang out with some of my favorite Outlander enthusiasts, then stay tuned because again, I will be announcing that very shortly. So in closing, happy birthday, Master Raymond. Happy swimming, John Bell. Enjoy playing with mythical creatures, Graham. And everybody, just have a great rest of the week. Thanks, of course, to my Patreons and members. You, you know I adore you. I appreciate that extra bit of support every month. Thank you, of course, for your views. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below anytime. I know I haven't answered much this past week, but I promise I've been reading everyone. And if you find you just have not gotten enough Outlander content yet, please check out one of my previous videos. and There's some Star Trek and other stuff there. And no matter what you choose, I'll see you there. I have found the most success. I have found the most successful and. Uh, so in closing, happy birthday. Doing that thing where I can't talk again. I'm done. My dog had something to add there.